today we are grateful to be back in Cornelius, North Carolina, and back with my friend Jason Templin from Jason Templin RV Service. This is his place, and he's going to work on the host today and get. Uh, we're going to just do general maintenance, and then he's also working on some um, thing. You know, like uh, he's right now he's trying to work on the. Uh, get our inverter reader to work. He's maybe going to look at our awning that we uh, blew out on us in uh, <laughs> Texas, and then he might even fix the steps. But mostly, what he's going to do is we're going to change the oil. We're going to uh, do a generator service, and lastly, he's going to do a complete service on our aqua hot. So we're really excited today. Already, just in a couple things that he's done to walk around. Look, we looked in here and found out that our air conditioner belt was loose. So he's going to tighten that up for us. So just to complete general overlook service and make sure everything's high and tight and good to go. Uh, yeah, we love coming here and having him help us just maintain everything and, and get it up to par. I will say that Jason Templin RV is one of the uh, most fair guys I've dealt with. And this is uh, his shop here in Cornelius. Finding, you know, amazingly enough, here is not all of them have our meters on them, which I thought was quite surprising because yeah. that's how you can track maintenance. Right. <laughs> like, uh, how long has it been running? I don't know. <laughs> right. An hour, 10? Alright, safety wise, what I always end up doing is taking the controller out for the burner. That way you do not chance on this thing going, hey, I want a light <laughs> or turn on or something. If right. that controller is out, you don't have to worry about it. In this particular one, rubber lines, we don't have to disconnect fuel lines. This unit will lay out enough to make it to where we can access everything we need to access. Here. Ever since he, he's the last one to work on it, and ever since he did, it worked great. There we go. Now, I will say, when we were in Arizona, it got really cold and snowed on us. Okay. And mm -hmm. while, while we were there, it blew out so much black soot. Yeah. And then white smoke was literally just dumping, coming out. Like, okay. and then once we got out of the cold, it has not smoked or put soot out since. Which I don't. It might have been just bad fuel, is what I was thinking. See, maybe a little might have got water in the fuel. Or yep. Something. Maybe a little something got in there. On those again, ambient temperature does change the way these things work. Really? Uh, yeah. well, I shouldn't say the way it works, the way it starts up. Because if it's a cold ambient, you know, it's going to have to have this much fuel, this much air. If it's a warm one, everything looks okay. I don't see anything abnormal. The other day we took one apart and this thing was like corroded as one. Oh, wow. Like, Nice. Wow, and it actually was lighting. Um, yeah, like, ooh, that's that's amazing. Um, generally, everything looks pretty decent. I want Jason to identify this little soot mark down at the bottom. Um, but right now, that part of the unit itself is looking pretty good. Is that the muscle chamber? Yes, yes. Yeah, you want to pop this out of here just to make sure that it's clean and don't have any excess build up yeah. inside. Is there again, you clean all this out and then you go, oh, well, did you check the chamber where it goes through? It's like, oh, crap. <laughs> Generally, I always just put a little rag under here just so I don't have a diesel. In too many different areas. I don't see any major buildup on it, so that's a good sign. As far as in there. Looks 
pretty clean. I don't see any sediment in there. That is always a good thing. This is a pressure gauge currently on this. What I'm currently getting ready to check is the fuel pressure. Um, again, this system here is, what was this one? Uh, right around 145, I believe it was. Again, this should have been everything that I'm currently doing now. Should have been on last year's also. In. We got the motor. And we got a cylinder. Well, that looks that doesn't look half bad. Did you have it serviced? No, did it last? no. You were the last person to test that. See, that's not bad at all. That's really you good. You do it right. That's the, your result. That's awesome, man. Look, that's not even. I know he might have wiped it, but no, I don't think so. I think we had a little bit of an issue. I told you about, and uh, it was leaking. Yeah. And what it ended up being is no, uh, I put a uh, a camera and took this plate off, put a camera up in there, and the actual tank had a small uh, leak out of the. There's a plastic fitting okay, right yeah. about here, right? Gotcha. Yeah. And we took that and put a brass fitting in there, and it hasn't leaked since. Yeah, I think that's where the mixing valve went. Mm -hmm. But. That was what I called aqua hot. They uh -huh. said there's nothing they could do, and and they ne needed to uh, replace the whole thing. Eight thousand dollars. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> so what's interesting is this. I think this is an interesting point. Before I met you, I was I didn't know how easily this came out, and how oh, yeah. you know that back. Well, I replaced that line right there. Yeah. Without moving this. Well, that's great. Yeah. Boy, it was a pain in the butt. So uh -huh. now to let people know, well, it's two bolts. Yeah. But this thing comes out in two bolts, and you can re replace those yeah. lines. That's right. Snap now, like what, that. This is what you want to worry about. You don't want this too tight here. Yeah. And you want to make sure that you don't pinch the wires. Right. And make sure these grommets are, you know, in place because that's what seals the air. So, what's, it, what's right on the money? What's it supposed to be? All right. It's supposed to be 145, but here, I'll shut it off. So if you see right where the thousand mark is on yeah. this gauge, that's 145 PSI. Yeah. Go through this stuff? Yep. Yeah, hopefully he is able to get those yeah, and, um, yeah, <laughs> These are not like, oh my goodness, this number is just not crossable or anything like that. That's one nice thing about Onan relatively easy to cross the numbers and as far as the chassis the same thing yeah we can cross those numbers relatively easy and most of the time the local shops here parts suppliers have our filters and stuff all right now i am going to go ahead and roll around underneath this thing and grease it up double check everything underneath because we fixed that once that's a yeah. brand new coupler oh, okay yeah and then i saw that it had just lodged again but I I thought it could just be somehow fitted right back over that hole somehow see like I said we can but, possibly yeah, I but don't the, know. We'll see. the movement is where my concern yeah. is like you can tighten this all up but if that's still moving around it's just gonna pop right it's, yeah, I was gonna say, it's basically gonna pop right back off again yeah yeah see I think I'm actually in the muffler yeah it's cut like on both sides here yeah and it's like just rattled its way down right like that notch right there, yep. like from that mm -hmm. clamp, just slowly cutting into it. Well, like that's good. good or bad? Yeah, that's good. All right, but you can see it. Yeah. I mean, again, there are several different fixes we can do, but you know, just as long as you are aware yeah. of it currently, yeah. I guess we'll. What's the end result of that not being fixed? What could happen? Well, okay. See, there, the carbon monoxide. Yeah. That okay. is yeah. exhaust fumes. I mean, yep. that's your bedroom right above there. So just turn this that. is your separator. That's this is yep. When these are clear and you can see in these things, right? You can directly like, oh crap! This is all diesel. If you had water in there, you'd actually see water. Oh, so okay. You just open this little pet cock Until up the water. and it drains. And then oh. when you see the water drain out and it's all diesel, you just close that back. So up as of right now, it's all diesel. So we're yep. actually good. Yep. Right Pretty now, good. it's really looking good. All right, it's good. really looking good. Oh. Yes. Yes. And you're filling it up. Put a little bit of oil on the. Yes. Now, what kind of oil are y'all using? This is 15W40. Now you mean brand? Brand, is it Delco? Um, it's, um, 
Did you say, actually, I never looked. It's a brand safety clean cells. Oh, that's cool. So I buy it from safety clean, but it's, it's more, here's the thing. It's performance plus. Yep. It's an industrial, you know, they. Yeah. So right there, what they're doing is they had to reach up into the foam and the insulation and take some of that out to get to the bolts and the nuts on the mirror to tighten that mirror because it was loose. And that mirror is very heavy and it was literally um, um, stripping and it, it was a matter of time that was coming out. So they're fixing it for me. And they're also fixing the steps. The motor, the motor is good, but the computer brain went bad. And so they repaired that as well. So we're about to wrap it up here and head on down the road. Oh, did I find it? Yes, you did. <laughs> it's so fun how we don't talk. And So we just got done and uh, and it was a little bit more expensive than I anticipated but fair very fair and uh, ended up cost us two thousand dollars but for two thousand dollars this is what we got a full-on oil change full lube oil filter um, two two fuel filters one um, oil filter for the motor then we had a fuel filter and oil filter for the generator complete service on that as well including the air filter um, the uh, the aqua hot complete service on that and I mean down into the jets and everything uh, complete service on that fuel filter new uh, new fluid everything um, then he also fixed our steps which have been broken we've been broken those for six months easy um, those have been broken for six months easy <laughs> uh, let's see uh, anything oh our the a big deal that was starting to be a problem is our mirror our mirror is one of a kind and you can't replace it and it was literally backing off and uh, and it was gonna fall off at a certain point and they had to get into the firewall and I showed you all that video but um, they fixed that as well I feel like there's a couple little minor other details that they fixed but um, I think two thousand dollars was fair and uh, and I think that Jason Templin RV service here in Cornelius North Carolina is some place that you can trust that they're going to give you um, a good fair deal and they're going to be quality work I appreciate them see y'all peace time to hit the road <laughs> Bye -bye.